So now that I use my, my flip over trick, I'm seeing that there's probably a little too much space bet between the uppercase T and the Y. I also notice a little bit of weird negative space right in here. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with that yet. But the main thing is I want to get that T looking good. So I'm wondering if it comes right over here. Now I have to figure out what's going to happen with that G. And again, I'll just look at my reference and see if anybody has connected letters this way. Because sometimes you'll figure out a solution to a problem that somebody else has already solved. So maybe that, that T doesn't have a curly Q on the end of it. Maybe it just comes more of a point like that G. And maybe we'll just loop out this G a little bit more. I think that could be our solution. So that's what I was talking about when I was saying flip over your design. It just magically helps you see problems that you have. What if we did something with this P where there's like kind of a little, little piece that came out here or something? That looks kind of cool. So those are pretty minor problems. I could scan this back in, bring it back into the computer, draw it back out. But I think looking at my paper, I can just refer to that and that's enough visual reference where I can, I can just go in and, and move things around um, in the computer. And that'll save you know, a few steps of going back to the scanner. But don't be afraid of drawing things by hand, bringing it into the computer, playing with it in the computer, printing it out, scanning back over that, just going back and forth until you really get it how you like it. Um, use a computer as a tool just like pen and pencil and it really can speed up the process a lot. And I'm gonna take a break now, come back to this with fresh eyes, dial in those, just those minute details. And from there we'll go to adding dimension and then texture and then color. And then we'll be done. So I pretty much always do this. I'll go outside and take a break, come back in, go out for lunch or even better, just come back the next day. The longer you stay away from it and come back, the fresher your eyes are gonna be looking at that design. So I thought I was pretty good and then I came back to it and was like, oh, I'm not really sure. So what I did was I printed this out a bunch of times and sketched over it and I'm getting a lot closer. So I scanned that back in, brought it back into the computer. That's what you see here. And next, I blew up the one that I liked the most, which is here, the one in the bottom corner. And I just started pulling points and moving things around. And each time I go through this process, it gets a little closer and closer. And I did another little round of revisions. So what I've done here is I've just gone in and drawn some curves to act as guidelines that'll keep my type more structured and it, it just it'll look more flowy it'll look a lot better if you go in and do that and I even went beyond and did one more revision I got rid of the hyphen I made this loop down here a little bigger and I think it's looking pretty pretty darn good so I'm pretty happy with it I went in here and put in uh, this, this type right here. Let me show you how I did that. So I just started out with a sans serif. I don't remember what font it was. Let's just use um, Futura Condensed. And I'll turn that to white. I do like the spacing on it. So I'll go ahead and type create outlines. What we need to do 
is, I think do a little arch to it. So what I've done here is I've pulled the distortion, the horizontal distortion, and that's what gives it that small to big kind of shape, left to right. Um, let's go ahead and expand. Let me show you what the paths are doing. So that's an effect. So you can see the actual paths aren't reflecting what's there. So let's go object, expand appearance. And it's more of like what you see is what you get. And I'll use my shear tool. And each time I make a change to the type, I'm gonna make a new artboard, save it, and you'll have these files for your reference. Now we're on to adding dimension. 